Islanders. Last night was amazing. Mm, yeah, it was. I especially like that. <laughs> Don't tell anybody about that. I'm not exactly sure that's legal at Landview. Well, hey, you're a lawyer. It's okay. <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. When I, um... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you didn't notice. Hey! Hey! Hiya, I'm so sorry. We were just, um... Remembering last night. It was great, wasn't it? It was great. Everyone loved the bras Adriana and I designed. That was good, too. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking pictures, Chris. I downloaded them last night, sent them to Mania's editor. She called me just now, said she loved them. That is great. Mm, nope, it gets better. She's running them online and printing them in next month's issue with your credit. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Mania is kind of a cool magazine. Yes, it is. Adriana and I are on our way up. Mm, mm, mm. I want you to enjoy your success, honey, because you and, and Adriana, you deserve it. I mean, your stuff, it's gorgeous. Thank you, but we can't start accepting any fashion awards anytime soon. We have so much work to do. Do you know how hard it is to design a bra that looks good but feels comfortable? Tell me about it. I have a drawer full of expensive lingerie that I don't wear because it's not comfortable and Mom is always harassing me about it. Mm. It's pretty. And not that she would wear any bra straps in public anytime soon if she just let me measure her for something more attractive. Well, you know? what do you know? There's Lindsay. I'm going to go talk to her. And you guys can continue talking about your mom's bra size. Okay. Whatever happens, I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I think this career is really gonna stick. I'm really good at it, Ange. Who knew? <laughs> I just like seeing you smile like that. You know, I think 2007 is gonna be a great year. Me too. We both have jobs we love. Well, I'm not sure how long mine's gonna last. What do you mean? Oh, I'm only working for the DA's office to prosecute Spencer. Then I'm going back to my very successful practice. Plans can change. I'd like to stay on as my ADA. Oh, I saw the window that you did for Christmas. It was great. It was very whimsical. It had a real sense of fun to it. I loved it. Not exactly the style I'm known for. So what? You, you're painting. That, that's a good thing. Yeah, but you know what? I'm never going to be able to paint as well with my left hand. My painting career is over. You sound so definite about it. Well, I'm not going to call myself a painter if I can't paint. Is this because I didn't take any of your new work? Mm, that might be part of it. But look, I, I'll continue the therapy on my hand and I'll continue painting. We'll see what happens. Good. But there's another medium that I, I kind of been working on and thinking about. What? Photography. You're getting stronger by the day, Nora. You don't need me in the office anymore. No, you're right. I don't need you. I want you. You did a great job with the Truman case, and I, I want you to stay on as an ADA. I, 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 I don't want, want to lose you. I didn't know you were interested in photography. Well, of course, painting always came first, but I've, I've been taking pictures for a few years now as a hobby. And Evangeline just gave me this, this great digital camera. I've been playing with it, and it feels good. I bet you have a good eye. Maybe. We'll see. Do you have any photos you want to show me? I don't think I'm that good yet. I'll be the judge of that. I give photography exhibitions. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. For pros. Well, they ought to start somewhere, just like you. You have a good eye. You know composition. That's half the battle. You really think I can make a go of this? I think it's worth a try. And if you're any good, I'll give you a show. Thanks. I want you to remember that you're an artist. You're an artist. And never forget it. Okay? Now do me a favor. Tell Evangeline I said hi and Happy New Year. Well, why don't you tell her yourself? Uh, maybe another time when Nora's not sucking the life out of the room. See ya. I'm flattered that you want my help. Nora, but why? Because you're really good at what you do and Nora knows it. She's right. And I also need to fill the position. Yeah, you need to replace you. I, listen, 
When Hugh died and I had my stroke, it just it made me reprioritize my life a little bit. And I want to spend more time with Matthew and not all my time at the office. So, okay, I think that's great. I understand that. But you're an amazing prosecutor. Take the job. Well, shouldn't her boyfriend have a say in that? I didn't know you were a part of this conversation. Oh, sorry for interjecting. I just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. Fine. Now go. But I am a little curious about Christian's reaction to Evangeline's job offer. Well, not that it's any of your business, but I don't need Christian's approval to take a job or not. And he doesn't need mine. Wow. That's, uh... So nice that you two have such an independent relationship. Is there a problem? Not anymore. You mind if I sit with you? Nora and Vandra are talking business. Sure. I can use the company. Thank you. Excuse me. Later, ladies. Later. So, did you uh, find out anything else about who burned down your place? No. The Landview PD is taking their sweet time to find out who did it. Yeah, I read those reports. They're putting in a lot of overtime on this. Yeah, Antonio's not going to stop until they catch the guy. I heard about uh, the death of your employee. I'm very sorry. Thanks. Excuse me. Jones, talk to me. I just got back from your warehouse or your building or whatever the hell you call it. I need to see you in person. I gotta go, ladies. Hey, the pleasure's all mine. So what were Evangeline and Nora talking about? Nora asked her to join the DA's office permanently. To replace Hugh? Glad, and she wants to spend more time with her kid. I'm supposed to meet Adriana in about five minutes, and we have a zillion things to do, and no clue how to do that. Good so. luck. And let me know if you need any more photos. I will, and tell me what happens about Vanja's job and everything. Okay. See you later. Bye. So do you think that Vincent burned down his own building and killed Ted? Well, I mean, if he was short of cash, maybe. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time someone's done something like that out of desperation. What do you think? Well... After what he did to Christian, I guess I shouldn't put it past him, but I'd have to see all the evidence before I made any kind of definitive decisions. I've spoken like a true prosecutor. Will you stop it? Oh, for God's sake. What are you so afraid of? It's not fear. It's <laughs> ambition and a little bit of materialism. I mean, I've worked very hard to create a very successful practice that I run, and I kind of like being able to pay for my very fancy car. I'm not asking you to give up your car. I'm asking you to come join the good guys. I don't know, Nora. I mean, work for the government and have all the scut work and the all-nighters. Oh, think of it as a challenge for your ego. You love a challenge, don't you? Why me? Okay. First of all, you, you've you been a defense attorney, so you know how the other side thinks. Second of all, you don't give up. Third of all, you're fair. I mean, look at what you said about Vince. You know? You're not going to pass any judgment until you get all the evidence. Ugh, please. That, that's innocent until proven guilty. It's called justice. I didn't invent Okay, concept. okay, okay, okay. You want the truth? Here's the truth. I like you. And more importantly, you like me, and you can work with me, and I can't say that about everybody. I'm a defense attorney. Hmm? I am a good defense attorney. I'm a damn good defense attorney, and I like being good at what I do. I don't know anything about prosecuting. Oh, for God's sake, I'll have your back. The same way Hank had mine when I first got there. The same way I take care of all my ADAs on my staff. On your staff? On my staff, babe. I'm your rival. I, I can't work for you. Yes, you can. Listen, there's something you should know. I do call all the shots. But for you, there'd be room for disagreement. Well, there better be a whole lot of room. And you'll take the job? Can I just get a little bit of time to decide? No, I don't want to give you time to weasel out of this. I'm going to answer right now. Oh. Come on. Answer. Hey. Hey. You uh, told me what you were talking about. Yeah. So, have you made a decision yet? Well, apparently, I have to decide before I squeeze out of the booth. 
I think you already know the answer. <gasps> she does? She does? Well, don't leave me on tender hooks. What is it? Nora. Oh, congratulations. I know you won't regret it. Bottle of your best coffee.